how many complex numbers z have positive imaginary part and both the real and imaginary parts of the value of function f are integers with absolute value at most 10. Let z equal x plus i y be such a complex number. The target complex number n plus i m is the value of function f of z, where n and m are integers from minus 10 to plus 10, and we assume that y coordinate of number z is a positive real number. We'll rewrite the equation that we have in the previous diagram in the standard form of a complex number and we'll write two separate equations one for the real part and the second one for the imaginary part then we'll solve them for x squared and x and we'll make one substitution we'll use a new variable t instead of x squared the formula in the diagram shows the dependency of x and y, the coordinates of z, from the imaginary part of the target number, m. If in this formula y equals 0, then x is equal to m. When y is increasing, then x is decreasing. From that we can conclude that x belongs to the interval 0 to m, and therefore t belongs to the interval 0 m squared, if m is greater than 0. If m is less than 0, then x belongs to the interval m0, and t belongs to the interval 0 m squared. And if m equal to 0, then both x and t are equal to zero. The graph on the diagram shows the points with x and y coordinates when m is greater than zero. The graph on this diagram shows the points with x and y coordinates when m is less than zero. And this is the graph of the equation t equals m over 2y plus 1 squared. We can see that y is monotonically decreasing when t is increasing and the domain for t is greater than zero and less than m squared. It's clear that for any point with coordinates t1 and y1 that satisfies this equation with positive m, there are two points with coordinates x1 and x2 that are equal to m over 2y1 plus 1 and minus m over 2y1 plus 1 and that have the same coordinate y1 since y coordinate must always be positive. This picture shows the positive section of the graph of the first equation shown in black color and the graph of the second equation from the previous diagram shown in red color. These two equations have constant integer numbers n and m. The range of each of them is from minus 10 to plus 10. We can see that the first graph marked with black color is monotonically increasing in its entire domain on t-axis and the red graph is monotonically decreasing from infinity to zero when t is increasing. Since both functions are continuous, it follows that if the domains on t-axis have a non-empty common area, then there is exactly one point of intersection of these two graphs. Now let's count combinations of m and n which produce complex numbers z with positive imaginary part. We can see from this diagram that the two curves cross if and only if the leftmost point of the black curve is to the left of the rightmost point of the red curve. In other words, if n minus 1 is less than m squared. For m equals 0, there are 11 such black curves. The one that starts at minus 11 when n 
equals minus 10. And the last one that starts at minus 1 when n equals 0. For m squared equals 1, there are 12 such curves. When n equals minus 10, n equals minus 9, etc., up to 1. When m squared equals 4, there are 15 such curves, where n varies from minus 10 to plus 4. When m squared equals 9, there are 20 such curves, with n equals minus 10, minus 9, etc., up to plus 9. And finally, when m squared is greater than 9, that is equal to 16, 25, 36, etc., up to 100, then all 21 curves with n from minus 10 to plus 10 have the value of n minus 1 less than m squared. For each curve except when m squared is equal to 0, we must count two pairs of coordinates, n m and n minus m. So we count 11 such pairs for m squared 0 and multiply all other numbers that we have calculated earlier by 2. The result is 399. The answer is A.